All right, we're here with Chad Malavy from ASICS. We're gonna talk about some of the trail stuff. Uh, right here in my hands, we have the Trabuco Max 2. We're gonna compare this against the Tr Trabuco Max standard version in here in a second, but Chad, tell me about the shoe. What do you got going on here? Yeah, so it's new for the season top to bottom. Uh, Coming in at $150 retail price. A couple key updates here for the tooling. We've added one millimeter of overall stack height. We've gone from the Flight Foam midsole in version one to now Flight Foam Blast Plus, making it lighter, softer, a little bit more responsive as well underfoot. What other road shoes can we find the Flight Foam Blast Plus in? Your Nova Blast, your Nimbus. Um, you know, you already know. Yep. The good stuff. Uh, so that's exciting. What is the stack height in the shoe? So we're looking at a five millimeter offset. So we have a 38 millimeter um, total stack height in the forefoot and then 43 in the heel. Okay, so it's pretty nice. Uh, better cushion there I would say absolutely yep awesome and Taylor you've run in this shoe a decent mm -hmm. amount the first version of this yeah. shoe mm -hmm. um, what do you think what are your thoughts initial thoughts looking at it well just looking at it uh, the new foam uh, it was already a good foam bouncy cushioned um, responsive but knowing that this is yeah even more so that's really exciting yeah um, and uh, it was already an inherently stable shoe so like a little more is okay so okay awesome getting more more out of it for sure. Yeah, Exciting. talk about the outsole a little bit, Chad. Yeah, so we've actually um, widened out the overall gauge or just the overall footprint of the midsole underfoot. Uh, you'll note that for the outsole, we've actually strategically removed quite a bit of the rubber base there mm -hmm. just to lighten up the shoe. It's coming in at 306 grams uh, overall, so for the overall nice. cushion to weight ratio, it's quite high mm -hmm. relative to the total stack. Um, it has a four millimeter uh, overall stud height. We've got directional uh, lug pattern here to give you great traction for both uphill and downhill. Then we have our ASICS grip outsole here. So this is our top of the line uh, off-road uh, rubber compound for great traction on wet rock and wet roots. Nice. Yeah. I'd I, say, oh, go ahead. Well, I was gonna say, I know that there's uh, people in Boulder doing like the flat irons with this kind of grip. So this is like, really is some of the best grip nice. that we've had. I'd say traditionally ASICS isn't known for their trail segment. Uh, it seems like in the last year or two, I know the Fuji Light was a hit with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, the original of this was, yeah. Good hit for us. Too. Yeah. So it seems like you're maybe trending more in that direction. Is that something you see putting more investment and time into at ASICS? Yeah. I mean, I think with COVID, we saw a lot of folks that were traditionally running on the road with groups, yeah. you know, going more off road. And we hope that, you know, those folks who initially tried trail running continue to, to you know, spend time off, off road as well. And so uh, just, you know, continued reinvestment in this category is we think that uh, there's just a lot of great things that can we can bring from our road collection also to the trail. Definitely. And uh, a few other points we want to mention here is we got a, we got gator attachments here. I think the last version had a lace garage. Uh, not uh, only a lace garage, a very puffy tongue. Oh, that's that right. Was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot yeah. about so that. That's, that's a nice change. Yeah, it's nice that we did away with that and now we just have a lace catch right here. Um, when's this come out? So we're gonna January of 2023 for this. Oh, so that's like right now, pretty, oh, pretty much. Pretty soon, yeah. <laughs> pretty soon. And price point? 150. All right, cool. cool. For Max Cushion Trail Shoe, there you go. So you wanna bring in the Trabuco Max standard version of the shoe? Trabuco Max is our uh, monster truck for the trail. This is more of our all-terrain, kind of more well-rounded sibling to the shoe. So you're gonna see a lot of the same design continuity or kind of uh, similarities in the upper. Um, underfoot in the tooling, we have also updated the midsole foam. So Trabuco version, 10 had a uh, flight foam for the midsole. It also had what was called Duo Max, or that's uh, right, stability right. posting yep. system. We've actually done a similar approach here. We've widened out the gauge, yep. took a lot of the same learnings from the Cano Light in terms of the uh, 3D space construction, and really tried to use some of the overall inherent uh, stability through geometry of the tool here. So it's a neutral trail shoe that's really uh, gonna work well for a lot of different individuals. Yep. Uh, we actually have a little bit higher lug height here as well at four and a half millimeters from the four on the Trabuco Max. Okay. Um, and then very similar feature set on the upper here, uh, minus the gator system that you saw on the Trabuco Max. Gotcha. And w what's the weight on this one? So we're looking at 308 grams here compared to the 306 on the Trabuco Max. Okay. Yeah, way huge difference. Yeah. yeah. Okay, definitely going to notice that one. Um, that's sarcasm. Anyways, so for the, someone who's just looking, <laughs> for someone who's just uh, looking at both of these shoes, what would you recommend, or what would you say, like, you know, the differentiation between the two, like? For certain types of runners, how, what would you recommend? 
Yeah, so I think the biggest differentiator here is going to be the, the stack height um, and offset are a little bit different at 8 millimeters here. Mm -hmm. This does have a rock plate, so it's going to be a little bit more protective. Um, if somebody wants a little bit more flexible shoe, uh, a little bit lower to the ground, this is a great option. If you really want to don't feel anything underfoot and just kind of like yeah. numb all the rocks and roots and just kind of plow through, kind of like a fat powder ski, like Truco that. Max is probably more your, your game. All right, cool. Any other thoughts, Taylor? I'm excited for it. I mean, we've been excited. For, from the last versions of the Fuji Light, the Chibroco Max, and just yeah. to get more. Cool. Very cool. All right. Thanks, Chad. Yeah, thanks, guys.